I'm going to say he's great. I'm going to say he's a player's coach. Um, he's someone who um, does a great job in terms of building you up and coaching you up. Um, and he also has a good balance of holding you accountable. Uh, and I think that's the biggest thing for a coach is obviously helping you develop, um, but make sure – uh, you know, they hold you accountable towards those kind of things. So um, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, you know, off the court, you know, he, he cares about you as a person. And I think that's a big thing. I think that's something that's kind of overlooked sometimes. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I've only been here two, you know, two months, but that's what I've seen. And that's what, um, you know, for, for me is really cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, you know, in my, in my uh, situation last year, um, you know, I think it, it probably would have been uh, a little different um, if, if the, the coaching situation uh, would have been different in, in New Orleans. And I, and I um, knew Willie was the coach and was able to talk to him. So, um, you know, that was my – experience of free agency um, obviously was a little bit different but um, the the coaching the coaching staff the coach um, and, and his personality uh, is huge because obviously that's who you're going to be um, you're going to be with him you know 82 plus games in a season and you know through, through the ups and the downs so that's that's something that's um, you know is is huge in the in free agency this team's going to go out Um, I think small market teams always get a knock for being in a small market. Um, but you know, my, my short time here, um, you know, being in Portland has been amazing. Uh, the, the fan base here is, uh, you know, incredible. Um, you know, I was in, I was in New Orleans. It was different because, you know, you had the saints and, you know, down South is, is football country. So, you know, being here, being the only professional team here, um, it doesn't feel like a small market. You have fans that come out every game of support. You know, we've been, you know, struggling the last 20 games, you know, you know, losing some games by 20, 30 points, and they're there till, you know, to the end of the game. So, you know, that's a big selling point for us is obviously them, um, the coaching staff, uh, Chauncey, the players that we have, Dame, um, Nurk, Ant, you know, myself, you know, I think we have a, f a good balance of uh, an amazing city, uh, a great atmosphere in terms of in the arena, and you got players that are hungry, coaches that are hungry, front office people that are hungry to make their mark in this league. And, you know, I, I think that's a big selling point for us. Yeah, um, I, I talked to them, and um, you know, I, I'll, I'll be here next year. Uh, you know, barring you know, obviously still a business, but barring something you know happening this all season, uh, um, I fully expect to be here. And you know, they kind of give me that reassurance unless something you know drastic happens. Yeah, um, I, I talked to to both Joe and Chauncey. And it's definitely going to be a little bit different than I'm used to. Um, I'm actually going to be more uh, guard dominant, I guess, you know, next year in, in terms of playmaking, having the ball in my hand and doing that kind of thing. So um, that's something I'm, I'm excited about. Um, you know, if you look at my time in this league last year and, and this year in New Orleans, I, you know, I was like, you know, the starting four playing, you know, two through four. So now the, the role and the um, – you know, the, the role and the um, playmaking that is going to be different. But it's something that uh, I'm excited about, it's something that I feel like I'm comfortable with. And, you know, I'm just, just looking forward to it. Do you prefer that? Um, I, prefer, I, I prefer anything that puts me on the court. <laughs> so, you know, if that's playing one, two, three, or four, um, you know, I want to be on the court. And I think uh, my versatility um, helps with that. Oh, 
Very, uh, very excited. Um, obviously, we got a little glimpse of it um, right before All Star, and, and I think we were playing very well. Uh, we had a good rhythm, good chemistry with the, with, with everybody, and obviously, we'll be adding Aunt, uh, Dame to that, um, and then you know some some guys in free agency. So I'm um, I'm really excited. Um, I think we have a, a good chance um, next year to to compete. And I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, I think everybody wants to compete. Everybody wants to be in the playoffs. Everybody wants to uh, make a run in the playoffs for a championship. And I think um, you guys will see that with the moves you make this off season. And you know the, that's what we want next year. And that's what we're going to go to going to go do. Um, What's that like? honestly, it pissed me off. In New Orleans, in the play-in, I haven't been in the playoffs or play-in in in five years, man. So it's pissed me off a little bit. But um, <laughs> but it, it's good seeing those guys do well. Um, I know with the trade, our pick depends on I don't know whatever it is. But uh, you know, it, it's you know I love those guys there. We were we were a really tight knit group there. Uh, the coaching staff's amazing. So. Um, I think I'm supposed to cheer, not cheer for them, but it, but it's hard for me. So I'm in a interesting dynamic there. So I guess um, I want them to do well. Maybe you know, yeah, be you know in the games, but maybe not win the games. Like lose by like a buzzer beater or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, you know, I'm just um, happy those guys are playing well and you know competing at a high level. Um, that's actually tough <laughs> because I, I talked to, you know, a lot of those guys. Talked to B.I., obviously Larry, uh, Jonas, Billy, Jose, Najee, Trey. I mean, it, it's, it's it's a long list. Like I said, we're, um, we were a close-knit group. A lot of us still have, uh, you know, group texts and group threads. So I try to talk to those guys, you know, a lot, especially, you know, the young guys who, who are trying to make the stamp in their league and, and, and talking to them and just giving them reassurance um, that they belong here and um, that if they need anything, they can, you know, they can call me. Yeah, so so what I was um, talking to those guys about is uh, at that point, um, and, and you know, at the point of the the career that we're all at right now, um, with those guys in the huddle, you know, they're not going to pay any of us to score. You know, with all those guys, I think Ant was on the bench. He's the he's the only one that's really going to get paid to, to to really put the ball in the basket in this league, at least right now, with where everyone's career is. So for those guys, the way for them to um, be in this league, way for them to, to to make a rotation in this league is by doing the little things, by hustling, by rebounding, by playing defense, um, and just playing hard in general. And that's something I felt like we weren't doing. Um, and I wanted to just, just to tell those guys that because just like them, I'm in that same position. You know what I mean? I'm not paying. I'm not being paid to to go out there and score 20, 25 points a game. I'm going out there obviously to be efficient and be effective on the offensive end, but to guard other teams. You know, you know, one and two options to to bring defense, to bring toughness. Um, you know, to to bring that mentality there. So, you know, I wanted to let those guys know that you know sometimes it's not always about you know the glitz and the glimmer. It's about um, finding your niche in this league and and doing that, so that's something I wanted to tell them. And like I said, I wasn't, I'm not exempt, from, you know, from from what I said at all, because that's it, it really applies to myself too, and, and everyone in that huddle. So that's something I um, I wanted to let them know, and obviously I, I'm new. Um, it's probably something I felt like I probably should have told them four or five games before. And you know, I'm just like I said, I'm new. I'm I'm still getting comfortable with these guys and in my role and my voice here, but, you know, that's something I felt like I had to say. You mentioned you were more of a playmaker in this year in your offense. How's that going to rub up during the game? Is that Told them to back up, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Um, you know, obviously that was a very um, 
early conversation, and obviously and it all really depends on, you know, when, when Dame gets back and his health and, and that kind of thing. But, you know, if he's comfortable playing more off the ball, I mean, that that's a great job uh, in terms of um, – ability for, for Ann or myself or, you know, whoever we get in free agency to come in and, and have the ball in their hands a little bit more and kind of take some of that pressure off of him. So, you know, I think that's a, a, a more of a conversation. But um, you know, we got guys that can handle the ball and play make. And, you know, I, I think that's the biggest thing. So I'd rather have too many guys than not enough. So. Not not uh, not really. He's someone that um, I kind of admired from afar, um, just in terms of his um, obviously his game, but his competitiveness. Um, that's something that really stuck with me. His loyalty, um, you know, I couldn't be too much of a fan because he gave uh, my team and myself a fair share of uh, thirty, forty, fifty point games. So um, you know, I told him that and. Um, but he's someone who's cool, someone who um, I have a, a growing relationship with. Um, I'm excited to to finally I – c- I feel like I can finally ask him for a jersey, you know, a signed jersey because, like I said, you know, when I catch an L and he has 40, like, I, I can't sit there and, and ask for his jersey. You know what I mean? So uh, I think I'm most excited about that. Um, but I'm, you know, just excited where we're going. Um, I mean the the, co- the college pool. I don't I, I don't really watch college basketball, so I I don't I don't know about that. But um, in terms of Nova, um, you know those guys who you know Jermaine and um, you know uh, I think right now Jermaine will probably come out. Obviously, will come out. Uh, I'm not sure if any of the of the young guys will come out, but um. You know, him and Colin are two guys that are very, very mature, um, very coachable. Uh, they do the little things. And they're, they're typical Villanova players. Um, they they know their roles. They're not going to do too much. Um, they're going to compete at a high level. They're going to do the little things, like I said. And it's just going to be tough. And that's something that, obviously, I think we can use is that toughness, that, com- that competitiveness. So... You know, I would I would love to see them, um, you know, get drafted or get a shot or or be here. Um, that's something that I would definitely generally love, um, and, and we just got to see. But those guys are going to be good players no matter where they are. Um, and you know, like I said, you know, hopefully I would love for that to be here and kind of take them under my wing. But um, you know, we'll see. Um, I probably got about probably like 15. I don't got too many. Um, you know, it's really a lot of my Nova guys, the guys I'm close with in this league. Um, and you know, I, I, I still haven't got to the point like this guy's like, Dame, I would love to get Dame's jersey. Uh, you know, KD, Steph, and all that. But like, like I said, I'm, I'm very competitive. And uh, when I get, when I get a loss or, you know, they go and score 40 on me. Like, I can't sit there and ask for their jersey. So, um, you know, I'm I'm, wait, I'm waiting to guard those guys um, and to get a win, for them to shoot terribly, you know, to have like 15, you know, and shoot like 20%. Then I feel like I can ask for their jerseys. So um, that really – that hasn't really happened yet with those guys. So, uh, you know, hopefully at some point in the, the near future next season it, uh, that we can make that happen. Appreciate it.